Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. This is Subnautica. This is an amazing game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a survival game. I am stranded on an alien planet. The ship that I was on crashed. And uh, so far it seems to be uh, a lot of water. Uh, I did get a emergency beacon from a ship uh, called the Sunbeam and they are going to be landing in 25 minutes uh, to rescue me. Uh, I can't see them yet, but I'm sure they're up there somewhere. So, I am going to be cruising over there, try to figure out what's going on. Uh, it's a little early in the game for rescue. I mean, I survived maybe two weeks, I think, at this time. Uh, but, going to find out what's going on. I'm sure we'll uh, know more in just a few minutes. So, thank you for joining me. Please take a moment to like the videos. Uh, you can take a second and subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and you get notified when I post videos. Um, I would appreciate any support that you can offer. Comments would be great. Tell me what game you're playing. Tell me how your day is going. Tell me where you're watching from. Uh, any support is greatly appreciated. Right, so here we go. We're going to jump right in. I got the uh, Seamoth down here uh, ready to go. I have done a little bit. I got the Seamoth built. I built the scanner room. Haven't actually used it yet because it's not powered. And then I got this notification. So uh, we are going to uh, cruise over there. It's a little ways. 1.5 kilometers. So, yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, let's do. Let's see here. Put the repair tool. So we are headed over there to rendezvous with the sunbeam. Alright, I got 84% charge. I think I have an extra battery on. Get out of the way, fish. Yeah. Be hitting the fish, the fish be dying. It's kind of crazy. They don't get out of the way. Yep. Get out the way, buddy. What's over here? Is it just gonna be. So it's a landing site. Like. Is it land? I haven't seen any land yet. Oh shit. Oh shit! Look at that! I saw it through the water. Look at that. That is definitely land. I see it. Well, hello. Dry land. Okay. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh shit, what was that? Oh, I don't like that. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. I don't like that at all. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What? Okay, so I don't want to. I don't want to be right there because that's where they're going to be landing. I'm gonna come over here and just kind of beach myself, maybe. All right, I can just leave it right here, kind of self, self, uh, self chilling, right? Not going anywhere. What the hell? It just dropped right off. Solid land, holy crap. And then something else over there. There is a, that's a structure. That is a building. Can I, can I farm these rocks? No. What the hell? Whoa, dude. That is pretty cool. All right. 
So, okay. I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't know what to expect. What the hell is that? Holy shit. Holy shit, what the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? It's a head crab. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are you at, buddy? about it. Have second thoughts. Coming at me, son? Don't come at me, son. One. Get him now. Cave crawler? Great. Okay, it wasn't so bad. I think it was like three hits. But, uh, trusty survival knife. But there's something up here. What the hell is this deal? couple of them. What is that noise? Okay, seems to be a path this way, but I saw a door that way. Okay. Whoa. Uh-oh. What is this? Pick up purple tablet. Carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles you, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, there's no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Wow. Okay. That's different. It's a purple tablet. What are we getting? Oh, wow. It's almost like stone, but... Okay. Weird. Oh, another tablet. Broken. It's like, hey, they're broken fragments. Okay. I don't even know what the hole went up, but a couple broken pieces. Oh, it's making noise. What is going on? Insert tablet. This device matches no known technology, is likely an alien in nature. Power is being routed via terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock. It only requires the correct kind of key. The key that I have, right? Fifteen minutes to go, and here we go. What is going to be in here? Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Pretty cool. Attempting translation. Oh, very cool. What do we do with Ion Cube? I thought I heard something coming on me. Okay. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Oh boy. What is this? Way back there. More data. Right, download. 
unknown language, attempting translation. Gonna catch a virus just hooking up all that. What? Okay. Data enforcement. Enforcement platform schematic. The data appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather basic understanding of the facility's internal workings. The facility's construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. The power of the schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. Okay, so there's a power plant somewhere else. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout the facility consists of the upper engineering section, while this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Contin control. The control room is in a lower section, houses the only way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or the installed security measures. Okay, so. Going this way? Going this way? What the hell? Am I just gonna fall? Oh shit. Oh shit. Whoa. Okay, so this is the moon pool they were talking about, yeah? Okay. I better hurry up, man. I got seven minutes. I think I'm about to the bottom. Way underwater, though. That's probably four or five stories underwater. What is in here? Okay. intended purposes on clear theories of function, ceremonial, religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network, okay? Yeah, it looks like a portal to me. Definitely looks like a portal. Vital signs stabilizing. Five minutes to uh, touchdown. Hopefully, what the hell is this? Ooh. Alien rifle? I can make a rifle now? Nice. Well, hopefully. Strong resemblance to human weaponry and form. This device must have been designed with the humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens built this structure themselves, humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from its case. So I got the thing, but I can't break it. Oh, laser cutter would be nice if I had that, but I don't have it. So. I ain't got no diamonds yet. I ain't seen a diamond yet. I don't think I found a ruby. such a long time. What is this? Shoot. Alien device. Doomsday device. What? 
Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Jesus, really? That's crazy. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. So I just gotta keep scanning myself. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay. What weapon? Uh oh. Translating background broadcast, downloading summary to databank. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will... Oh, great. Yep, I knew it. Well, there's be no rescue today. out of the sky. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, right? Can I get through this room any other way? No, I'll just slide right to the end. Well, you guys are about to be smoked for 40 seconds. Son of a gun. I don't even know if I can get out of there in 40 seconds. Transponder signature of trading vessel Sunbeam. Shoot. Vessel is approaching planet surface oh. and initiating surface scanning procedures. Coming. Detecting massive power surge from anomalous contact. Any Oh, 
Oh shit, it turned in. A, it's a cannon. What the hell? Okay, so I gotta find a way to get uninfected so I can turn it off, but it's a little too late now. Damn it. And I missed the blow up. Huh? I'm too huh? slow. Huh? Huh? That looks like a cave over there. Great. Well, that sucks. I knew I wasn't going to get rescued. That, that was just never going to happen, right? Alright, well, I was able to find an alien structure that actually shot down the ship that was coming to rescue me, so it's kind of a lose-lose, uh, I guess, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I did manage to get it explored. I found some alien cubes and some purple tablets. We're going to have to investigate those and found out that the planet is under a quarantine. Uh, I'm assuming for the infection... Uh, like the one that I have currently inside of my body. Um, so we are under quarantine, so we cannot take it off. So the only way to turn off that big gun so something can come rescue us is by getting the infection out. So I guess we'll figure out that eventually. I am going to take a moment in the next episode to kind of explore the cave, the island, see what we got going on. I see a couple of caves over here, things like that. Looks like a big one over there. And uh, it looks like some trees up there. We'll have to see what we can find. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, so thank you for joining me. Please take a moment to like the video. Uh, if you'd like, you can subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And then just click the notification bell, and you'll get notified when I post videos. I do post on a regular basis. I'm always kind of playing video games. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day. This is the Atomic Rooster, and I am signing off.